The welcome in Brussels isn't as warm as it might be these days, but even so, it's rare for a protest to come this close. A man with a placard urging Theresa May not to crash out of the EU, almost causing a crash of a different sort. Once inside, it became clear she hadn't come with her own proposals to break the current deadlock. Well, Mr. Have you brought the civic proposals today? But rather was sitting down with EU leaders to ask them, what have you got for me? Is this hell, Prime Minister? <laughs> The answer in three separate meetings throughout the day was not much, but not nothing either. The EU side will allow their negotiating team to start talking again, but crucially, they will not be renegotiating the withdrawal agreement, just the non-binding political declaration that comes after it. She left the talk saying she would insist on turning non-binding into legally watertight. What I've set out is our clear position that we must secure legally binding changes to the withdrawal agreement to deal with the concerns that Parliament has over the backstop. And taking that, changes to the backstop, together with the other work that we're doing on workers' rights and other issues, will deliver a stable majority in Parliament, and that's what I will continue to push for. And as for Donald Tusk, he of the special place in hell, well, after a frosty photo call that wouldn't have looked out of place in Madame Tussauds, she told him what she thought. I've raised with uh, President Tusk the language that he used yesterday, which was not helpful and caused widespread dismay in the United Kingdom. Thank you. So she headed for home with a promise of talks, but her demand for legal certainty about when and how the backstop will end may not be granted. The Parliament's point man on Brexit, Giva Hofstadt, suggested that they may offer fresh wording that is more binding than now, but nothing further than that. I think uh, that could maybe satisfy uh, the people binding, in the height. Legally uh, binding. But I said to you, a political declaration is today not legally binding. We are saying we want to examine uh, how we can it more uh, binding. And that's going to be the issue. Promises that everyone will try their best never to use the backstop have not got Mrs May over the line in the past. Simply upgrading that into a double promise seems unlikely to swing the issue back home. Well, European officials here have been saying today that they think Jeremy Corbyn's letter essentially offering a softer Brexit in return for Labour support may be the key to progress here. But they also noticed, noted that in all three of her meetings today, Theresa May never mentioned that letter once, nor any extension to Article 50. She still insists we will leave on time on March the 29th. But these new talks, well, they're going to run up to the end of February, which makes that timetable for an orderly Brexit unlikely bordering on impossible.